All right, what's going on, guys? Well, we're finally back with Valhalla. I know it's been like three weeks, I think, since I played this. Yeah, sorry, I've been pretty busy. And also last week I was sick, so that's fun. But anyway, we're back. So yeah, let's, let's just continue. The electricity bill, yeah, I remember. We need 8,000 bucks for that 24th. We have 5,000 now, we got plenty of money. Jill's a bit tense, buying a shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. All right, we have four, you come with me to work. What did I do? Oh, bringing four to work? Well, sorry four. Anyway, first of all, let's go buy that shoulder massager. Bleh. Hundred bucks, okay. And you build up too much tension. I mean, Jill ha has a lot of tension, so yeah. All right, so there's only really any something new on augmented eyes. So let's just check that out. Men prefer Christmas cakes. That's one hell of a rant. Age 26 or above. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> That's one hell of a rant. AM Township 64. New waifu machine. Sukaban so Sukaban Sop hey, the developer of this game. We're going for the weeb audience. What's dignity anymore? Didn't you play a game from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle, yeah. EKDV 186 to get a historic update. Assault rifle. A software update for assault rifles. Okay. Full compatibility with nano camo. Aw, oh, yeah. You know, make your, your assault rifle look like a military assault rifle? Oh yeah. You like guns? Nah, I don't, nah, I don't need a penis that badly. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Alright, that's. I think that's all. I don't see anything else new, so let's just go to work. Tuesday, December 20th. Good evening. Oh, hello, Jill. In that cage. I, um, brought my cat. We're four. Your cat? Did I hear that Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard. I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. Wait, there are no evil uh, on Neo G. You hear? Boss, what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat. Well, that's even better. Hey, Four. Four is not amused. So cute. Why'd you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather have him here, at least today. Oh well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we, but we already had a pack of corgis here. You want me to take care of him in my office, please? Sure, but he's a bit shy, so. All right, four. Let's go to my office. <laughs> and I think she didn't hear me. Hey, Gil, do you always is come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep, Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTZ housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyway, let's start. Alright, let's get started then. The last song on the list was Troubling News. 
Where's troubling news? Oh, wait, is it at the... You know what? That, it's near the top, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Oops. All right then. Had to mix drinks and change lives. Yo, what's up? Duggo. There's a doggo here. Um, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you're the part-timer. Yeah. Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. The part-timer is here. Huh? He came early. Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Because... Because look at him, he has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. So I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas can be seen as a Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used to be the... Use, and dog used by the royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Sheba. Why Rad Sheba? <laughs> what part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks. Anyways, he will mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in and cleaning. But he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That, that'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see, see how you work. Um, right. Can I get you? I have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. Okay. Here. Wow, this is awful. You will actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. So what brings a dog like you to taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Selfar Toy Company? What? No, I don't love me with those hurting supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to Sira. Sira? K9 Independent Rescue Association. You give place you give a place where a dog can be dog and save them from themselves. Sierra is what I love, but oh, damn, it's expensive sometimes. <laughs> Decided to take part-time jobs and help find everything it needs. Wanna help Sierra be the best it can be. What do you do at Sierra? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Say, do you have a menu? Something like that, yeah, here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Why the part with promo drinks? Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream, I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. The dog now wants a Fluffy Dream. Fluffy Dream. Well, this one's nice. So why did you pick a bar? Seemed fun. Didn't need, need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. <coughs> so it's close to home. Home so I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I could walk all day. Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Yeah, having thumbs is, is a weird skill. Why'd you pick a bar? Oh, on a whim too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than being a store clerk. Oh yeah, but the way it, you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it? Hey. 
It's a cat, a cat. Hey, four, weren't you in the boss's office? Hello, cat. Wanna play? Let's play. Oh, no. Do dogs hate cats or something? You don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh. Said his name was four. Hello, four. Let's play. No playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to the boss's office. Meow. One obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh? Yeah? Alright. <laughs> I should I shouldn't get riled out so easily by dogs, but I'm but I'm just tired, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Jill. Eh? Yeah? That voice. They Oh. What happened to you? Nice see you too. Fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Yeah, you're you look pretty beaten up, but you're also swole. Damn, look at those muscles though. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mob's lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages help conceal my identity. <laughs> I come straight here. I... The ambulance ends where I got treatment and, and couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot a, a while on rescue duties. I was nearby and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? Security systems at the bar are top notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First I hear you were at the bank, then I found out you disappeared. Now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at that bank exactly? Did you talk to Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow down a bit. The medication to make me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. S sorry. I saw someone like a bartender was worried about me though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? I've always seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. Did they get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank god these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I can't take your money right now, it's on the... Jill, please, I want to pay for my drinks. I think I won't be able to change your mind. Nope. I mean, yes. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol. Alright, something sweet without alcohol. This sugar rush works. Sparkle star works. Blue fairy works. Not moon blast. Not a brandini. Not a piano woman. So any of... Of the any of the first three drinks. Let's just give her a blue fairy. No alcohol. Careful. Yay, this has helped me calm down a bit. What happened to you? Where'd you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I've jumped from higher I'm I've jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. <laughs> How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drank. I drank lots of milk. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I welcome to the hospital. They told me some guy brought me here. Brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? Nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. 
I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am talking to you, being able to talk, talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> um, how, how are things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday. I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Uh, um, hey Jill, I want another drink. Uh, a bleeding jade. Well, it's a bleeding jade, but is it really the best idea to give her one? I mean... Bleeding jade? It's spicy, but it doesn't have alcohol. Hmm. Sobering. No alcohol. Maybe the best idea to give her one, then what would we give her? Another sweet drink? Should we give her another sweet drink or? Hmm. I mean, let's give it to her, I guess. Here. Cheers. So, how are things inside the bank? <laughs> Go again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. They were apparently nice at the very least. We got our best to find a way out of the whole thing. Cracking through the security, find sa finding safe spots. <laughs> but then... Um... Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, don't worry about it. It's just the, the analgesic still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. <sighs> that girl saw some awful things inside that bank. Side of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that? I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here... I don't know. I feel like I'm always being too pushy. Something I can measure. We're just worried. I bet she's still in shock. Yeah. Um, Gil? Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please? Alright. I'll go and take my break now. Break time. Too much heavy stuff lately. Oh, very full. Okay. Phew, ho hope everything goes all right. Uh, hey, Jamie. Um, Jamie? Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. Are you alright? You look distracted. Fine, don't worry. You say so. Jill, where do I take four if you need to use the bathroom? Kate has a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. Four? Four's my cat. So apartments of my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Alright, a gut punch. I'm still thinking about uh, the bleeding Jane I made for Say earlier. Was it the right thing to make? I'm not sure. But when someone ordered a gut punch, you have to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. 
Oh, that? In theory, yeah. Guild's the only one that pays attention to that, though. <laughs> really? Didn't receive proper training. You read an old manual and boss had. There was some soft stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. That seems like some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it? Yep. Why don't tell them that? too amusing, to be honest. I think your mind is distracting you so much. Nothing you should think too much about. It's those times. It's like those times you just feel too uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as, do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take it are those where I, I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in, in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. Bounty hunter part comes where? I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and get, I get paid for it. You can see it as, as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. Let's change the subject here. I have something bitter if you don't mind. Ah, sure. Something bitter, but that's broad. Maybe something manly? Something bitter and manly, maybe? Bitter and manly, huh? I mean, we already gave him a gut punch. What else is there? Pile driver? Suplex? Pile driver or suplex? They're both the same cost. Boom, a suplex. Here. Ah, yes. Just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every day after every afternoon. He said, he said they made him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. So grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Uh, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my rhino- I m wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people that are now talking to me here, it's weird. It reminds me- It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I'm gonna wrap my, ra my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that I, I stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, uh, yes. I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tail to a bored kid. But yeah, I like to hear that one. See, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement will put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay the, for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy that everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that was the black clothes were, were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch and his information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and, and didn't take a single reward. He was, just, he was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that, it, that, the organization, that the organization ever posted was on James's head. 
Police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account before shooting himself. Damn. Why, is it, why hasn't that been made into a movie? So there were no more bounties after that? Registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recre recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in, oh, in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They can use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome, bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using the targets as evidence. So, no. Just Black like James made sure that no law enforcement organi organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part, gonna, were you part of that organization? I've actually had no suspicious, no suspicions. I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how you, how well you changed the subject, but that, that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt jet like James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actu actually Theodore. Oh. <laughs> that story you know, left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. Alright, a beer. Want a beer? You have a cold one. Uh, mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing is, is that you don't take, take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. Milt must be itching after we talk so much about him. Yeah, maybe. I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like, like I will just tempt fate. Let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been the gloomy face after gloomy face. And that dog. I hope the next client changes that. So you still work here? I knew it! <laughs> Jill, stop tempting fate. Or, I mean... What a surprise to see you here again, again, Mr. Ingram. Get out of my job. I needed a drink badly. Remember this crack house is nearby. What can I get you then? I have a bleeding Jane. Alright. This guy again. Back to calling this place a crack house. Here. It's just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but, well, there's this, this well, network of, of engineers in need of assass assistance. What did I read as assassins at first? Assistance. I have no idea what they do there. But, but I can follow instructions if that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with this Celia girl, working on some experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It does sound like a pretty nice job, actually. It's pretty monotonous at times, though. 
Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens and just so happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared and shit scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. It almost became a bad day though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? What did they? Bleh! I can't talk. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around on that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu crap. Even if Zaibatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber in the, on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't, I just hate teenagers. It's, inter it's interesting though, a big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know, I'm not a political- I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a Zen Star and try not to mess it up. I'm right up. Alright, Zen Star then. Horror everything. Perfectly balanced. Now snap your fingers and make half the universe disappear. Here. Yep, it's just, yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. So, where's the red comet? The boss, she... Jill, four's headed your way. Let's play, four, let's play. Oh, a customer, sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here, and a cat. The cat's mine, his name is four. Dog just hangs around here. He looks well groomed and his fur looks healthy. You should take good care of him. You need to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do, but I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. You said that last time. He did say that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four is as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like four. He's my baby. Cats are our baby. Well, our pets are pets in general are babies. Now go play or something. Right. Ah, uh, you're back. What happened to say? Cat boomer girl picked her up. Didn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavily, heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. Do you miss Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Okay, yay. Flawless service bonus. Playing with your cat was really fun. You got $300 because us for having four here. Cool. Now I have $6,000. Alright, that's... That's the end of, of this... Of that day. So yeah. And, and I feel like these episodes are getting shorter every time. Uh, maybe that's just me. Actually, no, wait, they are getting short. I feel like, wasn't the like, first video like one hour long and this is only like 35 minutes long? Yeah. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's the, that's the end of this one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.